Jackson Merrill, you've kind of been the talk of camp uh, here <laughs> this year. Just, uh, I mean, at least from fans that we've been kind of talking to, media talking about you. Uh, how is it going for you so far with the a little bit extra attention, eyes on you, maybe a little pressure this camp? How are you feeling? Um, it's just fun, to be honest. I mean, I don't really think of anything else than the fun, you know. There's no better place to be than here. I mean, I'd be, I'm so bored when I'm not. Like, the offseason sucks, so. <laughs> Like when I saw these two dudes outside of Pepco, yeah. I was getting so antsy. I was like, "Yeah, I need to, I need to get back in there somehow." But, um, but no, it's been fun. You know, the the press has been kind of cool, but the pressure hasn't really affected me at all. I don't, I, I like to say I don't feel pressure. Like I'm pretty confident, and like certainly there was a little bit of like you know questioning going in of whether I could play the outfield or not. And I completely understand that. You know, I haven't played out there before. Um, but all in all, I feel comfortable out there. I mean, I played center yesterday. I felt smooth. Like, I felt free and open out there. So, I feel like it's going pretty good. Yeah, we watched uh, We watched that game and ball hit out. And you had to go back a little bit and catch it. And it, it looked like you've been doing it 100 years. I know they're, they're working you pretty hard out there. Um, if you had a, a preference, center, left, you're not getting right. I mean, right's, right's spoken for. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. That's locked up. Sorry, that's, that's, that's going to be locked that's up fine. for a while. That's fine. But yeah. uh, any, any preference? I, I thought just in my head. I don't know, maybe center is kind of the, the view you're used to, a little bit more up the middle, but I don't know that it really matters for you. Yeah, I say short's a little bit of like the mix. It's kind yeah. of the middle both though. It's like right-handed hitters, I play like a left fielder, but a short side, but then left-handed – or right-handed hitters, I play on that side. Left-handed yeah. hitters, I play on this side. But like center's just more – it's it's better for me because it's free. You know, there's no wall. There's no side spin. Yeah. Everything is backspun, really, unless you get a knuckler, and then that's a little tough. Knucklers but, aren't fun. But they aren't really that common, you know, so – Center's just a little bit more comfortable in a way because that was my first game I've literally ever played in center. Ever. Ever. Like, I've literally <laughs> never, ever played a game in center before. And that felt way more comfortable than, than anything I've done. Yeah, because they showed – it was your first game out there uh, in the that 40-minute inning against the Dodgers, and the ball <laughs> is tailing away, mm -hmm. and you're tracking it, and you're in a little little shallow, and then it hits the line and choo, just – jams off to the left mm -hmm. and i'm going i don't know of any left fielder that's going to catch that ball uh yeah like first ball for first her. ball first ball oh, i was like come you know they always say it finds you you know you know mm -hmm. it's coming to you at some point uh but no i mean yesterday looked looked really smooth and and did they ask you for your input on on things like that like what do you like where where, where do you think you, you're more comfortable i mean they just asked me how i feel kind of out there you know yeah. making make sure i do feel comfortable before they throw me out there and yeah. then, you know i'm running around just missing everything but I've taken so many like batting practice and VPs on field to try and get out there for the second group and just track because it's so helpful. Like that, I've seen that one I caught yesterday. Both yeah. the ones I caught yesterday like, a million times in that now. So they, they do come to me and they make sure like I, you know I'm feeling comfortable and I don't have any questions or concerns on what I'm doing. So I, I really appreciate them reaching out like that. Um, but no, all in all, I feel really good. But yeah, that f first fly ball like. Uh, that was kind of ridiculous. It was yeah. Right down the line, I was like, I'm going to catch it. I'm going to catch it. Oh, fence is right there. No. Oh. They had it in Xander. You know, his first chance and was like. He made a diving catch. Yeah, he made a diving later, catch. Yeah. But the, the, like the first one to Xander, too. Kind of this little floater over his head. I'm like, give him a six hopper. You know, give you a nice lazy flat ball. No, baseball gods don't work that way ever. No. Uh, they throw you right into the fire. We're talking to Jackson mm -hmm. Merrill here on Ben and Woods this morning. And we actually had dinner with your skipper last night. And, and we were talking about. Um, development, you know, development of players. And, and you know, he, he basically said, look, there's there's players that will tell you uh, when they're ready to go. For you, do you feel like – do you feel like I, I'm going to be on this roster, I can make this team, I'm going to be in the lineup opening day against the Los Angeles Dodgers? Um, I'm not really one to say, like, I'm going to be, you know. Sure. Like, I don't like putting that into words. But I will say, like, I want to be. Sure. Yeah, for sure. Like – what I've done here in spring training, it's it's only been six games. Don't get me wrong. Like I still have more to prove. I'm young. I have time, but at the same time, like I, I want to be there. Yeah. You know, I want to be playing against that competition. I want to be competing against that competition, and I want to be playing with everybody in that clubhouse. That clubhouse is legit this year. There's no one in that clubhouse you'll go up to and not feel connected to. Like e even different cultures, you can go to anybody in there, and it's it's locked. You know, um, but yeah, no, <clears throat> I'd say I, I want to be. I, I want love to be it. somewhere on the field. I don't care where it's at. It could be in the infield or the outfield. I want to be on that field. Yeah, I don't want to reveal too much, but, you know, Mike Schilt, from our sense of him, is not someone who seemed like he was inclined to put a, 
a 20 year old out there, but he also said, but Jackson might be a bit of a, <laughs> an outlier, an outlier yeah. I think was the word that, that he used based on what, what he's seen so far. Now, if your ears have been burning the last few days, <laughs> we'll admit we have been asking people about you, including many of your veteran teammates and they have all spoken very glowingly about you. And I, I don't get the sense that it's just that normal. Yeah. Build up a teammate sort of thing. They've been, they've been pretty impressed with you. Um, when it comes to that interaction with guys like a, a Manny Machado that have been around so much, how do you, you know, you want to be respectful. You're a young guy in a clubhouse. You're obviously very confident, though. You don't want to cross the line into cocky. But where, how do you kind of, how do you approach that in a clubhouse with all of these veteran, you know, star players that are in there? Um, I don't really feel like you approach them in any way. You just kind of come to the field and you show that you're not messing around. Um, I come here every day and I, go do my work and I have some fun. I'll joke around a bit, but like when it's time to do the work, I lock it in. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing here that should throw you off of like what you're trying to accomplish. You know, I shouldn't come to the field and then just be lazy. And like, that's not going to get us anywhere. That's not going to win us the first world series in San Diego history, you know? So I feel like they kind of see that I'm here to, I'm not messing around. Like this is, this is all legit. This is all real. You know, I've kind of took some time this off season, just like kind of, you know, get in my own head about this is getting real and like this is it's coming, you know, and I feel like coming to spring training, I was ready. And that's what I'm kind of taking the taking the moment right now. You're not in baseball for the uh, the perks to, to <laughs> you're for the perks, the big no. contract to make the money no. to, you know, have the famous lifestyle. You just you love baseball. Yeah, it sounds this like is, this yeah. is the greatest game on earth, in my opinion. You know? Where'd you get the love for the, for the game? To be honest, like it just kind of grew on me. Yeah. You know, I don't really have a backstory of how I fell in love with the game or anything. Um, Did you play other sports? Yeah, I played basketball and soccer, but those didn't really, you know, I didn't, I didn't fall in love with those. Yeah. But baseball was just like an everyday thing that I wanted to go do, whether it was playing wiffle ball or hitting off a tee or hitting off like the slingshot thing that wraps around the pole. Like, oh, yeah. Anything. Like, I was, I was so antsy to get outside and do something, and it's been like that every day, you know? Obviously, now, like, the off days you take them because the off days, like, you don't get a lot of them now, and we're tired. We got to recover. But, like, if I could, I would still be out there every single day, every single day on that dirt or that grass. Do you dunk it? In basketball? Yeah. Yeah, I dunked when I was a junior, and then after that, I stopped <laughs> I stopped playing because COVID happened, and we couldn't have a league or anything. Yeah. So. You're, uh, what, you six? Three, six, four? Yeah, six, three. Six, six three? Four. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're bigger in person, it seems like, yeah. than, than maybe it seems like you are on television. But, mm -hmm. yeah, you've got, you've got a little height to you as well out there. Yeah, um, I've been, I'm still growing, too. Like, I, I don't know how much I grew over the last year, but I grew a little bit more. So that's why I still look kind of skinny is because I can't stop growing. So none, <laughs> of my, none of my weight stays on. Yeah. They got a whole staff in there that's trying to change that, I oh, assume. For like yeah. a month straight, I was hitting <laughs> arms every day, and my arms are getting bigger. <laughs> So like that was a little ridiculous, but but no, yeah, a little little lanky frame. I think my frame definitely suits more of a like an outfielder. Like you don't see many shortstops that are six four and skinny, you know. But still, I think I could play anywhere on the field. The Padres had one, but he's out in right field now. Yeah, so. that's exactly right. <laughs> see, exactly. And and playing well. Talking to Jackson Merrill here on Ben and Woods this morning, and you know the they always say you know if you can hit at the big league level, you're going to stick. Um, for for you, great swing, good looking swing, great approach at the plate. Um, when you go up there, what is your mentality every time you step into the box? I go in there with a different different mentality kind of every time, a different approach every time. You know, everybody is a different pitcher. Nobody has the same, like, same exact pitches. People will look the same. You can kind of go in with similar approaches on each person. But, you know, just having a good approach is kind of how I get through my ABs. You know, I, I want to go in there and win the AB, and I go one at a time. You know, I'm not thinking about the entire game of what I want to do. I'm thinking about each AB and, like, how am I going to win that AB? What situation am I in? You know, there's nobody on base. It's still a situation you got to get on base. Yeah. Like you're a leadoff guy. Um, but I go in there with confidence. I'd say now, like, I just, I go in the box and I want to, I don't want to win. Like, I want to kick somebody's ass. Yeah. You know, 100%. I want to make it hurt. Yeah. Do damage. Yeah. You, you had a quote the other day and I, very respectful. He said, hey, these are major league pitchers. They're all, they're fantastic. They're great at what they do. But, I own the at bat when you're in there. I, I haven't gotten the sense that even a lot of big leaguers feel that way. Is that I know where does that come from? That that kind of that confidence that you seem to exude. It's just loving it's loving the game, you know, loving the game, you know. I like to be here, I like to play, I like to have fun. So you can't have fun if you're not hitting, you know. I'm not in that box just to go up there and try and do like do it my job. You know, I'm trying to go have fun and play the game the way it's supposed to be played. How do you how do you think, and, and how have you handled slumps in your career? Because, it, you know, in baseball, it's not, it's not a matter of, of, 
of if it will happen, it's when it will happen. Um, do you dive heavier into the process? Do you take a step back? Do you do you work harder? Or do you say, yeah, I'm just not, I'm not going to swing for a couple of days? Like, what is, has been your experience so far? I think the really the only time I've swung so far is uh, is in high last year. It was kind of my first time ever really kind of having a rough stretch in April. And, you know, I, I took some other factors into account that it wasn't necessarily my swing. You know, I was sick for a week and yep. then recovered for a week, and then I was sick for another week. So, like, I really just couldn't get my feet underneath me. Um, but I say I kind of just I, I relax. I, I take, like, some mental breaks, you know. It's not – Do less. <laughs> I still do the same amount of work, but, you know, I'm not in there, like, thinking about how I'm struggling, you know. I'm thinking how, like, how am I going to change my attitude, my approach, like, how am I going to start fixing this, not while wow, you're doing bad or you're not getting the hits. Because once you start thinking that, it's Toast. a long chain of just no hits and no average and no homers, you know. you got to got to go in there and be like, all right, let's get to work. Let's make sure I don't fall. I'm going to stay up there. I'm going to get right back into it, and we're going to be hitting again. Love it. I need, love that, it. I need that for my golf game. I know you got a meeting in a few minutes, Jackson. We'll let you go. But this was a, a great conversation. It was great to finally get to talk to you on the air. And wishing you the best of luck this season. Hopefully it's a really good one for you. Uh, spring spring training bat? Oh, yeah. Paulie's going to have his yeah, son, our, uh, our fan bat for our, our, our spring training here. All of our guests here. And he's already got his Ben Wood shirt on, which is very impressive. So we appreciate that. A lot of hits in that shirt, by the way. Well, that's what we tell everybody. Shirt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with the last guy that wore it, one manager of the year. So I think, you know, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> we don't tell about the people who got hit by a bus while we're No, no, so. no, no, exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jackson. Wishing you the very best, man. Jackson Merrill. Merrill Madness.